Welcome to Engineer's Mindset. Now, I'm going to take us through product rule of partial derivative. Now, let's say that Z is equal to U and V, where um, U is a function of X and Y. Also, V is also a function of X and Y. Okay, the product rule of partial derivative, the partial derivative of C with respect to X is simply that this is how you evaluate partial derivative from product rule. First of all, keep the value of U as constant. Then, differentiate V partially with respect to X. So I'll simply have partial derivative of V with respect to X. Plus, now keep V as constant. I'll have V. Then differentiate u with respect to x, so I'll have partial derivative of u with respect to x. So this is the partial derivative of z with respect to x, where you have the product rule. If I'm to find the partial derivative of z with respect to y, also keep u constant, so I'll have u, then differentiate the partial with respect to y, I'll have the partial derivative of v with respect to y. Okay, plus then at this point you keep the constant v, then differentiate you partially with respect to y. So I'll have partial derivative of u with respect to y. Okay, so this is formula for partial derivative of a function from product rule. For instance, let's say we have consider that z is equal to x cubed x squared y plus 3xy multiplied by x cubed plus y cubed and I'm asked to find partial derivative of z with respect to x okay so the first thing to do is this you say let u let u be equal to x cubed y sorry x squared y plus 3xy and let v be equal to x cubed plus y cubed. Okay, so I have this now. So it means now that this whole function can be written as, that simply implies that z is now equal to, in place of x, x squared y plus 3xy, we are simply calling it what? u. So in place of this, we simply write u. And in place of x cubed plus y cubed, we call it v. So you notice that this is now what? A product rule. z is equal to u times v. Now, from the rule, first of all, the rule says keep u constant, differentiate v with respect to x. So, which means from v, from v is equal to x cubed plus y cubed, okay, I'm going to now differentiate v partially with respect to x. If I differentiate v partially with respect to x, I'll simply have, use the power from the formula method, use the power to multiply x. So, I'll have 3 times x, then subtract 1 from the power, okay, times plus by 3 minus 1, plus y cubed is here as constant, it's not changing, okay, and the pressure to respect to x, and not the respect to y, so y cubed is here as constant, alright, so I'll have that partial derivative of v with respect to x is now equal to, this is simply equals 3x squared, because 3 minus 1 is 2, plus y cubed, so this gives me partial v, partial x. Also, remember, you keep v constant, then differentiate u partially with respect to x. So it means that we also have to differentiate u with respect to x. Alright, so from u, from u is equal to x squared y plus 3xy. Okay, so we differentiate u partially with respect to x. So that means I'm going to be keeping y as constant. So for this first case, keep y as constant, then differentiate x. Simply use the power of x to multiply x, so I'll have 2 times x. Then subtract 1 from the power of x, so I'll have 2 minus 1. Okay, plus. Also keep y as constant here, so I'll simply have 3y held as constant. Differentiate x. Use the power of x. The power of x here is simply 1. So I'll have 1 times x, then subtract 1 from the power of 1 is 1 minus 1, okay? 
So I'll have the partial derivative of u with respect to x is now equal to uh, this is simply 2. x 2 minus 1 is x, 2 minus 1 is 1, so I simply have 2x raised to the power of 1 times y plus okay, this is now 3y. Okay, this is x raised to the power of 1 minus 1 is 0. And of course, any number or any variable raised to the power of 0 apart from 0. Any other variable or number raised to the power of 0 is simply 1. So I'll simply have that partial u, partial x is equal to, this is 2xy plus, so this is actually 1, so I'll have plus 3y. So this is partial u, partial x. Now from the product rule, the partial derivative of z with respect to x is simply, we said, keep u constant, you keep u constant, differentiate v partially with respect to x plus keep v constant, differentiate u partially with respect to x. This is the law. So therefore, partial z, partial x is now equal to u was given as this, which is x squared y plus xy. So we simply have x squared y plus 3xy that is u then partial derivative of v with respect to x equals partial v partial x equals 3x squared plus y cube so times 3x squared plus y cube so we have this okay so plus we have keep v constant and v actually equals x cube plus y cube so we have x cube plus y cube, okay, times differentiate v, differentiate u partially with respect to x, which is what we have here as 2xy plus 3y. So we have 2xy plus 3y. Alright, you may choose to leave your answer like this, or you may choose to want to expand and see if any terms can go in common. So let's try and expand and see what we are going to have. Alright, so let's expand the project and see. So we do that, we have x squared y uh, multiplied by 3x squared will simply give us 3x for y. So we have x squared y multiplied by y cube, that will give us x squared y4. So plus x squared y4 plus, we we'll use the second value to expand the bracket, so we we'll use 3xy multiplied by 3x squared, that will give us 9x squared y. So we have 9x squared y. Sorry, 9s cubed. Yes, thank you. 9s cubed y. 9s cubed y. And then 3xy multiplied by y cubed is 3xy4. So plus 3xy4. We have that. Also expand this x cube times 2x square y equals 2x 4 y so we have plus 2x 4 y x cube multiplied by 3 y is simply 3 x cube y so we have 3 x cube y ok so we use y cube multiplied by 2 x y is 2 x y 4 we have plus 2 x y 4 Okay, y cube multiplied by 3y will simply plus 3y4 plus 3y4. So at this point, we collect like terms. Partial z, partial x is equal to, we have 3x4y uh, plus, we have 2x4y, so we can go plus 2x4y. Okay, plus we have x squared y4. Is there any number like that? No. Okay, okay, plus we have 9x cubed y and we have 3x cubed y. So we can go plus 3x cubed y. Okay, we're here. This is 3x plus 3x y4 can this go with any one xy4 okay we have plus 2xy4 plus 2xy4 
Okay, final words. Two x four y plus. Okay, so that's one. Okay, what is this? What is this? So we're left with plus three y four plus three y four. Let's confirm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is correct. So partial derivative for z with respect to x is now equal to 3 plus 2 is 5 x 4 y plus uh, x squared y 4 plus um, 9 x cube y plus 3 x cube y plus 12 x cube y plus 3 x y 4 plus 2 x y 4 is simply 5 x y 4 plus 3 y 4 plus 3 y 4 okay so this is your final answer you may choose to read the answer like that all right guys i will see you in the next video with another wonderful question on product rule of partial derivative. in the meantime if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button like and comment and of course share your thoughts i will see you in the next video thanks and cheers